alongside Cy, Skylar Harvey and Fallon Harvey, I'm Savannah Henson for Sports Broadcasting Camp TV. Today, let's get to the top stories. Major League Baseball is back underway tonight after taking a break for its All-Star break. Monday featured the Home Run Derby in which the New York Mets' Peter Alonso crushed 74 home runs over three rounds to defend his title and take home the $1 million prize. He defeated Baltimore Orioles slugger Trey Mancini in the final round, one year after Mancini overcame his battle with stage 3 colon cancer. The NBA Finals are all tied up following the Milwaukee Bucks defending its home court last night against the Phoenix Suns winning Game 4 109-103. Giannis Antetokounmpo and Chris Middleton combined for 66 points to outshine Devin Booker in his 42 game high. A minute to go with when DeAndre Ayton seemed to be ready to throw down a super fire alley-oop that would have tied the game at 101. Instead, Giannis came up with the lead saving block to help Milwaukee ahead for, for good. Game 5 comes up Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. After the first round of the Open Championship at St. George's Club in Kent, England, Louis Oosthuizen holds the lead at 6-under. Jordan Spieth and Brian Harmon are sitting at 5-under, while reigning champion Bryson DeChambeau is tied for 75th, 7 strokes off the lead. Last night, Team WNBA beat the Team USA in the WNBA All-Star Game 93-85. Enrique Gumbel. A was named MVP after pouring in 26 points on 10 for 18 shooting, including 5 for 10 beyond the arc. Following the team's loss, Team USA's veteran leader Sue Bird said, for the coaches, they have to figure out which group is the most cohesive. These things always take a whole training camp, months or years, and we try to do it in a matter of days or weeks. This was just the first step. We learn from it and move on. I think we've learned we're not a team yet. Team USA begins its pursuit of its seventh straight gold medal Tuesday, July 27th at 12.40 a.m. Eastern Time against Nigeria. Wednesday, Big 12 coordinator of officials Greg Burke said at Big 12 Media Day that cracking down on taunting will be a point of emphasis for the league this year. Burks was asked about the gift that keeps on giving for Big 12 officials. The horns down simply symbol a taunt directed at Texas. Burks said, let me put it this way, if you do a horns down to a Texas player as an opponent, that's probably going to be a foul. Burke said if a player turned to the crowd to throw the sign, it probably would not be a penalty. Please, all you know, I said probably, Burks added, we have to consider an intent and consider the situation. We'll leave it to the officials. We'll see what happens as the Texas Longhorns open their conference schedule. September 25th against Texas Tech. That's it for sports. For Fallon Carvey, Skylar Harvey, and I'm Savannah Henson. Have a great night.